Hey you, my name is PFT Number and welcome back to a new video of Explore YouTube. And today I've got this indie game search light channel for you guys. Um, it's made by Mark and he is all into the indie game. And I like this guy already. He's playing all sorts of games uh, from horror to just a real fun games, reviews the games and he just dives into his history, his makers. Uh, what it's all about and of course he plays the games he has almost 13,000 subscribers so just go and click here go and subscribe to him because this guy is worth it for sure with almost 100 videos he is getting pretty big is most of his uh, work or most of his info I've got here this website for it to wear and this link is also on his channel you can go there for more info and it's the source for classic video gaming so back to his channel the latest favorite video of him is party hard and I just watched it I didn't watch uh, a lot of videos of him but the videos I watched I like very much and that doesn't happen that often but here you go, here's a short piece of what I mean. 2015 had a lot of interesting things happening with the stealth genre, both within the indie and mainstream circles. Outside of the enormous pile of games that get released on Steam every month, a few new entries into the genre emerged from the shadows, such as Volume, Mike Bithell's sneaking game similar to Metal Gear Solid's VR missions, Play Entertainment's turn-based tactical stealth game Invisible Inc., and five size games The Swindle, which takes a platforming approach. Not to mention the last lifeboat carrying what's left of Metal Gear Solid V from the sinking Titanic that Konami seems to be. While these games look interesting and fun, particularly Invisible Inc., which I've beaten and can confirm is really good, they're all pretty much built on familiar ideas that we've seen executed well in other games. See, that's what I mean. He just get the history of all the games, pile it up together, reviews them, plays them, watch videos about them. He's all into the indie games, so there's no distraction of all of the other games. So that's kind of valuable. You're equipped with a knife for a quick kill, and each party has an abundance of traps to set, such as objects with timed explosions, food and drinks to poison, cars to start running over people, and a few things to throw people in, such as a grill or over the side of a building. That's what I mean. Um, he plays the game and reviews it. By doing that, he makes it pretty interesting. He has so much info about the game itself. If you watch one of his videos about a game, you understand the game very well. And I like that. Most videos or most people that do this kind of stuff don't have that ability to explain a video that well. But he does. So I appreciate that. And he, well... He keeps doing that in multiple videos. So, well done. Well done. This one more game, uh, it's called The Fall and he reviews the game because he's got a whole section on his channel uh, of reviewing games. And he's doing that with great care. Now he's a part of a video, The Fall. He announced it, he's working towards it because it's a little horror game. And it's a game of 2014. Um, uh, here we go. Over the Moon's The Fall, the first game of a planned trilogy. The Fall is a passion project of Vancouver-based designer John Warner, a veteran of the industry having worked on Company of Heroes, Dawn of War 2, as well as some smaller indie titles. He found inspiration from some games from when he was a kid, jumping up and down with excitement. See, that's what I mean. Um, he gets all the info, I don't know how, but he gets all the info, dives right into it, gets all the info from uh, different kinds of videos, uh, goes on the web, goes and research, and then comes up with this great video for you guys to watch. If you want to go and watch this channel, go ahead. It is worth your time. Go and subscribe to his channel if you are all into the indie games. If you want to have your channel on Explore YouTube, then go ahead and comment down below and like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and as always, stay awesome.